guys and today i wanted to talk about those chicago bulls and they are loaded it was actually a closer game than they probably wanted but man oh man did this team just light it up and honestly they didn't even shoot that many threes but they still four out of the five starters had double digit points and really they were the only ones with double digit points the bench had 10 points combined okay they were really relying on the starting lineup and one could argue, could this be something that they should worry about, that they don't have much bench scoring? Eh, I mean, this team has so much offensive firepower. Zach Levine, Nikola Vucevic, and DeMar DeRozan are all 20-point scorers in their own right. And then you throw in Lonzo Ball, who is like the Swiss Army Knife, the Jason Kidd of our generation, who he doesn't need the ball in his hand to be effective. I swear, he only had five rebounds statistically, but he had his hands on probably what felt like a 100 rebounds because every time he couldn't get a rebound, he was slapping in the air so somebody else could go get a second chance at that ball. Nikola Vucevic had 15 rebounds. He was just inhaling rebounds. This is one thing that this team is good at is rebounding. Like Collectively, this whole team is very good at rebounding. Now, what I want to say is, the Pistons were winning this game for what seemed like a decent bit of time, but what I saw from the Chicago Bulls that I really did enjoy was, at times, I honestly think the Chicago Bulls might be one of the best perimeter defensive teams in the league. Like, they weren't allowing three-point shots whatsoever, okay? Yes, you could argue maybe their interior defense might not be the best, but I think... in like perimeter the i don't think a lot of teams are going to be able to score via three-point shot consistently well against the chicago bulls team because they really force you to score inside and they don't really foul inside and yes i mean the pistons feasted inside with 50 points in the paint but still this is a team that they were telling the pistons come on beat us inside you're not going to beat us with a three-point shot which i think is a good philosophy to have in today's nba where everybody's trending towards outside now i want to hear your thoughts down below after my little ramble this was the intro two minute and 30 second intro which basically is half the video but yeah i mean one thing i think we'll see more of as the season progress is three-point shooting this was i think be the least amount of three-point shots they only attempted 23 but one thing i found interesting was that patch williams didn't attempt any really shots he only he shot only three times okay and i thought that was really interesting that he only had three field goals i hope that as time progresses and you know they gel patch williams figures his role i know he's fifth in touches with the starting lineup I really like DeMar DeRozan as the small forward where they... Well, I don't even know if you would say DeMar DeRozan was a small forward. Because Patrick Williams, you would think, be the small forward. I mean, the power forward. But I think DeMar, he played power forward last year for the Spurs. Maybe they're keeping that here. But the Rosen and Williams being their forward with Ball and Levine being their guards. I love that. I just really like this team because Vucevic, not a great, you know, defensive guy. Same thing with DeRozan. While Ball and Patrick Williams are incredible at defense, and Zach Levine's mid, I just think this is a great lineup. Yes, I get, you know, scared that, you know, the backups are, you know, basically the backup lineup is point guard Alex Caruso, shooting guard Javante Green, small forward Ayo DeSumo, power forward Troy Brown Jr., and center, you know, Alizé Johnson. And I really like Alizé Johnson. He's a great rebounder. Troy Brown Jr., one of the better two-way role players in the league, and he deserves a decent contract. Not huge, but a decent contract this offseason. Ayo DeSumo was one of the best defenders and best players in all of college basketball, so that's why he's getting minutes. So right here when you watch this, I, I think really the one thing to worry about with this team is if a team just says screw the three ball and just feasts on inside, we'll have the possibility of feasting inside in the paint because this team doesn't really have a true rim protector on the roster. Their best rim protectors are arguably Tony Bradley, which I think a lot of people will be like, eh, I don't know if Tony Bradley wants to be your best, you know, <laughs> interior defender on your roster. So that's basically my thoughts on the season opener from the Chicago Bulls. You know, interesting enough, I think it was a fun game to watch. And I think this is definitely a playoff team, not a play-in team, a playoff team. They're going 
to make the playoffs. So just be ready for that, okay? Don't don't act like I didn't tell you. So so those are basically just my thoughts right there. I want to hear your guys' down below. But that's it for me, guys. Puppies out.